I'm excited right now, man. We got a special guest in the studio, Mr. B.O.B. Yeah, yeah. Say what up to Flint. Yo, Flint, what's happening, man? Bobby First, Bands, man, we, we out you. First of all, I got to welcome you back to Flint. You've been here a couple times. Couple, several, uh, dozens, plethora. <laughs> uh, plethora. Yeah. All that. You looking good, man? Looking man, I'm, fit? I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm feeling good, man. You know what I'm saying? Ready for the uh, the show tonight? Yeah, man. I got a comfortable pair of shoes on. You know what I'm saying? That's good. good. A, lot, a lot of high energy. You yeah. Perform with Wiz. Is that like a competition? Because Wiz is crazy on stage. Yeah, man. Like I, Everybody's crazy. You know what uh -huh. I'm saying? Everybody like everybody brings that energy to the stage. You know what I'm saying? Like And everybody learns from everybody. So it's a great... It, it's just a, the atmosphere is right. You know what I'm saying? It's always a nice haze hovering above the crowd. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I was there last year. I, I, I know the haze. I know the yeah, haze. Yeah. All right, so you got, um, we got, um, uh, what's this? Uh, the single just, I keep thinking of a headband, the single before that, still in this. We still. Still yeah, in this. Yeah. Killing yeah. it on the charts. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Appreciate it. How man. did that happen? Because that seemed like one of them tracks that, it seemed like I can almost vision y'all just in the studio just kicking it. And just like, yo, let's, let's just make a track. Yeah. We still in here. Let's make a track. I mean, you know, really, that's the beauty of it because it's like, it's it's not it's not like a, a song that appears to be contrived. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, and, and when I made it, man, I was I was in the studio, and this was before it, it grew to what it became. You know, it, it was just really on my hard drive for a couple months. You uh -huh. know? And, and because you know, the, because the production is so stripped down and it's just riding, it don't like initially yell at you like this is a this is a record. This is a, you yeah, know what I'm saying? It's, it's just a cool. It's almost like a it's like a it's like a freestyle that y'all just cleaned up. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's what I see. And headband that yeah. video, man. I want to know who is your talent agent to get all them girls, because you had about a hundred girls. We had, man, we had hundreds, hundreds, man, and hundreds like, of girls. You know, I mean, being in Atlanta, you know, it's not, you know, it's not hard to find. <laughs> he said, "This is girls walking around. The thickness is everywhere. Like, ah, the thickness man. everywhere. You know, you're just used to it." All right, so what, what, what can we expect next? You know, you got the um, the album came out in April. Yeah. Yeah, you have uh two singles that is killing right now. Which I know uh Headband is still going got a lot yeah. more to do. And um you know, I'm all this is really, you know, really uh I would say warming up the palate for the uh -oh. main entree to come which is Underground Luxury. Underground Luxury. To yeah. Explain, Mr. BOB. Explain. explain. Look, look, man, like Underground this is basically like a reintroduction and a and a I guess an introduction to some who never saw, you know, the 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 underground side of everything that I did before mm -hmm. my first project and 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 just the things that are natural to me. You know, it it's kind of like a double edged sword because you know all the pop success off of airplanes and nothing on you is like I got introduced to the world. The world got introduced to me off of those records. Yeah, but and it was the, quick too. Yeah, but you for came the people, out yeah, but for the people who didn't see the rest of it, that they, they, you know, they thought that's all it was. You know, yeah. oh, it's, just, it's just a guy. But it's like, no, nah, I need to show you what I'm about and what I do. What yeah, I like share, share, share a story because we we got a lot of rappers in here in Flint. When I say we got like we got a lot of rappers, I get yeah. people calls all the time. I get emails and people are like, oh, yo, put my song on the radio. It's like I try to tell them like. It don't work that way. Anybody you hear on the radio, you hear B.O.B., you hear Rihanna, you hear Drake. They did a lot of stuff before. Can you, a lot of stuff, Can you man. share like a, wolf, uh, a time, you know, share like a broke some, story, a struggle story? Some, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, man, like a lot of a lot of what I did. Okay, this is, a, this is something that people probably wouldn't know. Uh, the song, Don't Let Me Fall, I recorded that in my apartment before, mm -hmm. before I put the album out. Like I was in an apartment and I did the guitar part. The piano, all that, in, in an apartment building in a closet and recorded it, did the whole thing. And this was like the last song that I recorded for The Adventures of Bobby Ray, and it, and it ended up being the first track. You know yeah. What I'm see that? See, that's what people, people just think you just woke up one day, like, you know, I'm gonna put some gold chains on, get some tats, some glasses. <laughs> I mean, but, but don't get me wrong, like, there are there are some some artists who they come out and it's just, it's just the phenomenon, like, you have these things like, a side opera where they drop a record mm -hmm. and it becomes a cult following instantly. But they usually are like one hit wonders. You have you way past the one hit wonder. Well, you know, I mean, you know, the tra the trajectory mm -hmm. of a career you can never really predict, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You never know. You never know how it's gonna go. But we all, you all start. You all got to start from somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So how's it working with the hustle gang? How's the hustle gang doing right now? I see oh, yeah. they slowly oh, yeah. pushing. You know, you know what I'm saying? Tip, he on tour with uh with uh Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne. and Two Chainz. They gonna be in town what about a week or two? Week or two or something? Yeah, so you know, you know, wherever the paths crisscross, it's finna, we finna fuck. Uh, uh, it's, it's all right, it's, it's cool. You know, we finna, I just need a job. We finna tear, we finna tear, we finna tear the city down. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's.
That's how you know we live over here, Flint. <laughs> B.O.B. in the studio cussing. Just cussing hey, y'all man. out. Cussing y'all out. <laughs> uh, I did this thing on uh, air the other day, speaking of Hustle Gang. Um, there's a lot of gangs popping up in hip-hop. And that's like, I like it. Because when people hear gang, they think of something bad. Shoot them up, bang, bang. bang. Yeah. But, you know, they got the Hustle Gang. You got the Rich Gang. Yeah. Pretty Gang. It's like it's like a whole... Do you think it's like a new movement? Like a positive thing? It's, it's like the 90s all over again. You know what I'm saying? Like, you remember seeing Junior Mafia, seeing the Outlaws. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's like everybody clicking up again now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it's like people want it because it's like it's just fun. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's hip hop. And the albums are just I, man. Like yeah. uh, I could imagine all of y'all on one album. Ti, yeah. Bob, Iggy, Iggy is doing her thing right now. Yeah, she is. When, when, when are y'all do the track together? When, when can we? Oh, uh, we're gonna that? do some more. I'm Come whipping on. up. I'm whipping up tracks right now as we speak, man. Like <laughs> I'm I'm producing. Like you know, I got my bus now. I got my tour bus. So Uh-oh. you know what I'm saying? I can kick back a little bit. You, you got know? the face on the side like everybody else. The what on the side? You nah, got your big nah, face on the nah, side? Nah, nah, I move discreetly, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I always thought that was a bit much. Stealth. Yeah, I always thought that was a bit much. Hey, I'm here. I'm right here. This is my bus. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. All right, yeah. man. So, um, oh, um, you worked with a lot of people. Is yeah. anybody that you haven't worked with that you want to work with and you tried to work with and just haven't? Really, really, man, like, honestly, at, at this point, because I've, I've already worked with, with every, you know, everybody who I grew up listening to, like, I've worked with all of them, so... I don't really have like any like dream wish list collaborations, but you know, it's, I think for me, I just kind of go for what is going to be the best song, you know, like the best song to collaborate with at this moment in time, because hip hop is like a living organism and it, it goes through moves and changes. Like one day it wants to do this one day it wants to do that. So, you know, I pretty much just kind of, you know, you got to just keep the antennas up and kind of, you know. Check out for what which way it's gonna swing next. You mm-hmm. Never know. That's crazy. You ever thought about maybe leaving the music industry? Maybe branching off to something? Not like, like just dropping out. I'm talking about nah, nah, nah. movies, I, I, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, I mean, fashion, uh, porn, uh, anything. I, I feel like fashion is like the next step for me. Really, you know, I'm kind of really developing my own sense of, of fashion for what how I see it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because I'm one of them artists where I started out like I don't I don't wear nothing, man. Just give me white t-shirts, yeah. and jeans. <laughs> And that's it. I'm going to go out here and rock the crowd, you know. But, like, you know, you when you, you know, just getting older, I mean, I'm still 24, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I kind of got a different perspective on things, you know, because I used to never, I was a person, I ain't really want to go party, really. But Yeah, and you know, I'm not, not going to lie, the, I know the money changed that, too, because, you know, you, you can't, I mean, you know, white tees not the of course, same. Of course, I can enjoy it from a, <laughs> exactly, from, from a, from a better standpoint. <laughs> Versace, Versace. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you got a lot of people in there want to go meet you, man. It was good talking to you. Yeah. I heard a lot of good things. You've been here a bunch of times. My first time actually beat you. Wow. Um, just look out for it. Tell everybody what you got hey, coming look, up. Everybody follow me on Twitter at B-O-B-A-T-L. Look out for the album Underground Luxury coming this fall. Make sure you check out that hairband, man. Twerking in a club near you. I'm out here, man. That video Bye. is ridiculous. I just... T- Tell, I'm sorry, that, man. We just trying to get them twerking, man. Man, and we and we trying to keep them twerking. Twerk, Miley, Miley, twerk. <laughs> All right, man. Appreciate you. Go meet some people. All right, you know it. We got you. What do? What do?